Hey everyone, this is Lewis here with East Coast Deer Tips, and this week we're going to be talking about a tending grunt. And basically, if you remember from last week, with the doe bleats, <coughs> this week we're going to be incorporating some buck grunts to go along with those doe bleats. And basically, what you're going to want to do is take your slide, slide it down to the B setting for buck, and when you do these buck grunts, you're going to want to do them kind of short and sweet, kind of something like this. And you're going to want to get these grunts kind of following with your doe bleats here. So basically, what you're trying to imitate is a buck that's trailing a doe that's coming into estrus. So basically what you're going to want to do is go to the D setting first for the doe, just like we did last week, and do those long drawn out bleats, sounding something like this. Slide it down to the B for the buck. And that is what we like to call a buck tending a doe. That's the sound that that's going to make. And in fact, if you can see right here, this is a buck that I actually shot using that method. And I like to use that method in the morning a lot. I've had success with that call in the morning. And I mean, you can do it whenever you want. You can do it in the morning or afternoon, whatever works for you, whatever your preference is. And then, you know, just a simple, we'll go through it again. Start out with your drawn out doe bleats. <laughs> Going down to the B for buck. <laughs> Trying to imitate that buck that's trailing that doe. So that's basically it. And hopefully that gives you guys some success. And uh, I've had success in the early season doing that. The first part of gun season or late bow season. So you guys can you know, give it a shot and see if you've had the same success. And you can tune in next week and we'll have another deer tip for you. Thanks for watching.